not telling you this to brag, my brother. I'm not saying it to brag, but Danny hit like a, like a middleweight. And all the sparring partners say it, bro. He, he, they never spar, and these guys that I bring in, they spar a lot of guys in the walkerweight division. A lot of guys spar these guys, these guys that I bring in. I don't try to get information from nobody. I'm not being a spy. But they tell me, they come out third month, they tell me, they've been to all these camps and nobody ever hit them hard as Danny hit You know, in the Walter Waits. Now, I mean, some would argue that Danny hasn't scored a knockout. I mean, he had got the, sp the stoppage right. over Paul Ma Paulie Malignaggi, but that was the referee in the right. corner. So, yeah. where's the power that yeah, you speak that, of at the welterweight that, division? That's the thing, Young. I, I don't know how these people stand in front of Danny, because Guerrero, if you look, Guerrero was getting hit with some shit, man, that I was like, is this dad really love him? Throw the rope? I mean, I would have listened. I don't know how they, they, everybody look at the sport differently. I'm not going to let nobody hit my son like that. At the end of the day, man, Guerrero was getting hit with some shots. I don't know how he stood up, bro. Like, honest to God with you. I know, I guess they, they come in shape, bro. They, they come in to fight Danny Garcia. All right, so they're 100% in shape. Let's change the subject just a little bit, but yeah. stay there. You said you are a father. You're not going to let your son take those type of shots. Yeah. Keith Thurman and, and Sean Porter, that was a brutal fight. Back and forth, big you punches, you know, combination punches. How do you not cut Danny's opportunity short by well, being too much of a father and throwing no, in the no. towel too early? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I'm going to throw the towel. I'm just saying, at the time of the moment, I was looking at him like that, like looking at him. But I'm not saying I'm going to do that. Listen, Danny got to leave. Listen, it might sound brutal on my side. But there's a business and a sport at the same time. You gotta be 100% in the sport. If Danny gotta share his last blood in the ring, and then it is what it is. There is no feelings in this ring. When Danny goes in the ring, there's no feeling that about that, sorry, you got hit in the eye, it's none of that. I'm the coach. And you're gonna go in there, and if you gotta get killed or you kill. So, you know, that's what I meant. I mean, like, yeah. So, have you felt this type of uh, build-up anticipation before with Danny? I mean, he's had a lot of big fights. You know, Zab Judah was a big name. Malinaji was a big name. R Roberto Guerrero has a, a respected name in the division. Matisse, Khan, numerous names that he's Peterson. But have you felt, like, I guess the the build-up, the anticipation, the way that you're feeling it for Keith Thurman? Like, a lot of fans want this fight. Yeah, but we got to wait till November 12th. Like, I'm, I, I want it bad as they want it. I want it because I want people to understand that Danny's the best. Was the best at Junior Walterway and will be the best at Walterway. So you don't you don't find titles, you ain't considered the best. So yeah, I'm listen, I'm looking forward to that fight. But I don't want to go there yet. Because I want to focus on Sammy. November 12th, we got a week and a half. Or we got like 10 days left and we in the ring. And then I'm gonna focus. That's gonna come fast, brother. And March 4th will be here fast too. So right after we take care of Sammy. We're gonna take care of Thurman, March 4th. We're gonna take care of Thurman in a classy way. And then people are gonna say, Danny got lucky again. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna be able to remain classy, as vocal as no, Keith Thurman is? I mean, cause Keith Thurman no, yeah. already came out and said, no, enjoy yeah. your last no, cherry of cool. the year. He could do whatever he wanna do, but at the end of that day, I know his power would come from. His ponytail, I'm gonna cut it off. But you gotta get to him to cut his ponytail. <laughs> no, when he be on the ground, he be knocked out, I'm gonna cut it off. Wait, isn't that, that's uh, S S Samson, right? Yeah, Samson. from the boss, from the boss supposed to be, he knew his secrets. You're gonna, you're gonna have to send a woman no, to cut that, a, that's no, how no, it no. happened. No, she told, he told that the, the Samson told the wifey the mm -hmm. secret, and then he, she, she snitched on him, and then they went at night, brought him to sleep. And so cut so who told you to keep them in secret? How you know that? I know secret? that, because I know from the amateur, when they cut his ponytail off. Oh. I can't remember if he won or lost. So I can't really tell you because I don't remember, I don't want to lie to you. I'm not saying that he did lose, but I remember they cutting it off mm -hmm. in the USA Championship. Okay. <laughs> I love the sight in the game, cause see the boxing boys.